Well, now I am in my new place and I am feeling really good. Um, I mean, I'm not unpacked and all this stuff yet, but um, it's been a rough eight months, six, seven, eight months. Um, a lot has happened and I couldn't even begin and I wouldn't even know where to begin in the story you know so it's not something I'm going to post um, but I'm just feeling more Optimistic and optimistic. I've got a long way to go. I mean, I've got a lot of weight to gain back, and I still got a biopsy ahead. Um, it was supposed to have happened, and that's another story, too. But it's rescheduled, and I'm getting it done. So, soon, very soon. Uh, Praying to God that that's that it's not malignant, and if it is, I will deal with it. You know, and I mean, I've lost a lot of weight, as you might be able to tell by my neck and everything. Lost a lot of weight. Um, haven't been able to gain anything back, but. Uh, comes with life, you know, you get older, genetics, genes mutate, environmental factors, personal choices, health choices, diet, it can be a multitude of reasons why, but regardless of what, trying to enjoy each day to the fullest, um, you know, friends and family, newly found friends, I'm so grateful to have those, you know, um, I, uh, made a lot of changes, a lot, and it was absolutely necessary, moving and getting out from where I was was very important, and you know, having had the means to get where I'm at now is great. Because now I'm in a single family home and I count my blessings, you know. Um, God has a way of watching out for us, you know. When we feel like we're just out there alone, trying to stay afloat, it's just most interesting how things work out sometimes in our favor and we don't even realize you know we go through all these hardships and all these challenges only to find that there is light at the end of the tunnel or there's the option of doors with a light on the other side and it's time for those doors that those new doors to open and the old doors to close and I've had to leave a a lot of dysfunctional people behind and I've had to make some changes within myself that were also dysfunctional so dysfunction breeds dysfunction and I had to make some changes within myself also you know in order to even receive something healthier in terms of friendship or any type of relationship with anybody I don't know um, I'm not necessarily talking about intimacy or anything because in terms of that, I mean, I'm just happy being on my own. I enjoy just being with myself and my family and my friends and, you know, reaping the rewards of whatever life has to offer. And if the right person is meant to be in my life, that person will come. I will know. And, you know, but I'm not out looking for that. and. I'm just doing what I need to do for myself and I have some awesome opportunities and 
I would say by the end of the year, I, you know, there's just going to be even more changes. But these are enough changes that I am well with. And being able to get into, being able to, you know, move to, you know, from an apartment to a single family home is really nice. You know, have a nice backyard to sit out on that porch and... You know, it's a nice neighborhood. You know, it's just things that we take for granted. We don't even think about sometimes. And, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, words can't even express, like, the level of gratitude that I have right now. Um to be where I'm at. I'm lucky to even be alive, you know? And that's really the truth. And that's not an exaggeration. That's not... I'm really lucky. And I think, you know, most people aren't so lucky. And it just tells me that God has other plans for me here. And that he's not finished with me yet. Whatever I'm meant to do here, I, ha I still have to do. And I'm willing to do, you know, the um, required for work to make whatever is meant to be happen for myself. And, you know, I mean, having had to go back into treatment was a very wise thing for me. Um, I feel great not drinking, not doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. Anything that is, you know, considered like uh, self-destructive or um, not to the betterment of who I am as a woman or as a human being, I guess, you know. I've done a lot of stupid things, said a lot of stupid things and all this stuff, and it's a live and learn thing. You know, I'm not alone, we've all done it. We've all said things in haste, done things in haste, and, you know, and so it's just, uh, I'm very, I'm, I'm happy, you know. Uh, I'm happy with, with myself. And I am totally well with, you know, spending the rest of my life alone, if that's what's meant to be, you know. And, or I'm well with, if it's meant to be, then, you know, I'm well with, I'm well with whatever's meant to be. You know, it's just a level of acceptance that I found within myself that no matter what it is, it's okay. And, you know, I don't have to explain myself to anybody. I am my own woman, you know, I am my own person. And the days, you know, I mean, I used to, I did so much for other people and that's a good quality to be, you know, kind hearted and giving, but not to the point of, you know, to where you're physically depleted and exhausted and emotionally and spiritually drained. And that is where I allowed myself to be taken. And those days, you know, it's just boundaries of this is not acceptable and I'm not going to tolerate that from, from myself or anybody else either, you know. So many of the boundaries are just within me of like, no. I don't think so, or, you know, um, and so self-care, little things like getting the nails done, or getting the hair, you know, cut, and, um, I don't know, you know, it just adds up to feeling good about yourself, you know, and, and then, you know, you can't fix up the outside if you're feeling like a bag of crap on the inside, you know, then you gotta look at life like a bag of crap. 
and deal with it. Not drink or pop pills or do anything else, you know, to try to run from that because it's just a temporary anesthetic and the next day you have a bigger hole inside from the temporary anesthetic. You didn't feel the hole get bigger, but it certainly did. And I can only say that for me, and I know what it was for me, so I'm saying that from personal experience, you know. I'm just not on that page, and I don't want to be taken back to that page again by anybody or anything for that matter, <laughs> you know, so, um, that is, uh, where I'm at, and, you know, I just thought I'd do a video instead of doing all these silly posts and, you know, um, I'm sitting out on the porch, just looking outside and, oh my, how lovely, you know, breathing in the fresh air and it feels very life affirming, you know, just like hearing the birds chirp in the morning, it's very life affirming, like, wow, it's a beautiful thing, it's very peaceful and serene. It's nice, you know, to have a cup of coffee with a cigarette if you smoke. If you don't, that's all the better for you. For me, I smoke, unfortunately, but um, I like to have a cigarette with a cup of coffee and just listen, to, you know, to the birds chirp and breathe in the air. And <sighs> all we have is today. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Malignant seeds are not. I'm gonna have to go back and get checked and see if the spots on the lungs got any bigger and I have many things, you know, to contend with and I'm okay with it. I'm not afraid. I mean, I don't want a pad, quite obviously, you know, but I'm okay. I really, it's just complete acceptance is a nice feeling because there's a freedom with it, you, you know. Not so, your life just isn't fear-based, and that's what it is for me anyway. I just, I've lived in fear most of, pretty much all my entire life. Fear of something or another, and no. I don't want to live like that anymore. And I'm not, you know, that's my claim to fame, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, I you know, it's just, uh, <sighs> counting my blessings to be where I'm at. I didn't expect to go through treatment and I expected to go back to the apartment that I lived in and I didn't know what to expect, you know. Really, I thought I was going to die, you know. Um, and things are kind of looking that way. I still might be that way. One day I will. One day we all will. You know, but... I just... Uh, it's just about making the best of each given day. Because it could be, you know, terminally ill or not. You, it just could be. You never know. I had lost a brother on uh, Christmas Eve. Got killed accidentally. It's crossing the street. We don't know if it was an accident or if he was murdered, you know, but the point is, you know, I talk, I'd spoken with him two and a half hours before he died, and I thought I would talk to him after Christmas, and I didn't, you know, so just don't know in life, and gotta make it count, and everything I'm doing today is about making it count making it count for me and making it count for the next person that I, you know, encounter. I mean, I don't want the drama and the theatrics and the BS and all that stuff. It's about treating others the way I want to be treated. And if I can't treat them that way, I need not be around that person, him, her, you know. So that's part of living true to who I am, I guess. Um, so anyway, Enough of that, I just uh, thought I'd share. It's been a while um, since I've done a video, so here I am. And, you know, <clears throat> I'd ask people to say prayers for me, 
you know, uh, that I don't have any malignancies when I go, when I do go get this biopsy, and, you know, um, because I do believe in the power of prayer, and, like, the spots in my lungs will not have grown any larger, and, that I will get to be around for a while, and, be able to be a part of it all yet, I hope to be, I want to be, life is certainly worth it living it's worth the effort and so are the people that are you know part of my family the friends acquaintances co colleagues you know I mean all worth it you know everybody's just um I look for the beauty inside of everybody unless all they're shown is ugliness in which case I just remove myself you know but just not, just not on that, on that page, I guess, you know. It's been a very challenging, <laughs> six to nine months, very challenging. So much has happened, and it's uh, many stories from many other days, perhaps. Maybe it's something I'll put in a book. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But enjoy your weekend, everybody. And thank you for those of you that had prayed for me before. I thank you. And much love. Happy belated Easter also.